Patty. Yes. It's scary season. Oh, spooky season. That's right. <laughs> Halloween is upon us. That's right. And nothing goes better with a campfire than a scary story. Mm. And I thought we'd talk about some of the scary things involved with RVing in this episode of Travels with Delaney. The podcast. <laughs> Welcome back, everyone. My name is Patrick. I'm Patty. And we are joined on the old podcast couch today by none other than Truman and Bess. Yep. Our Cavalier King Charles Spaniel. Yes, they are. And they are not scary. They are right now. not scary. And they do not have costumes. Nope. They should. They do Truman pretty... always has a mask on. He does always have a mask on. He looks like collar. he's a bandit. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. So. Yeah. Well, we are going to talk about. Things that scare us when we're RVing. Okay. But before we do that, we have to do something that scares you, and that's this or that. Oh, no. Okay. So we had our trick-or-treating we a couple of weeks ago yep. here at the campground. Yeah, lots of fun. Where uh, We're at Happy Acres Campground, Angle, Indiana. We're now officially closed for the season. Yes. And we will be moving home in a couple of days. Correct. By the time this airs, we'll be back at our house. In the cabin. But... We gave out candy like we did. many of the RVers that weekend. Right. And the bag still has a few pieces <laughs> left. <laughs> and it must be the things we don't like. Yeah. So, which would you rather have? The Twix or the Snickers? I'm going with Twix. Wow, that Hands was a quick down. answer. I like Twix. That's good because I like Snickers. Because <laughs> I noticed that's what was left. I know. It's like I ate the Milky Way. I like the Reese's Cups, peanut butter yeah, cups. Yeah, I like the Reese's peanut butter cups. And then it was kind of like, well, there's the just M&Ms. plain Hershey's. Oh, the M&M's were great. And the plain Hershey's is easy. Yeah. Yeah. So it's kind of like we're down to Snickers and Twix. There's just a lot. Of, I like the Twix. I'm not a big Twix fan. I know. You're not this kind of I don't of know why. Yeah, it's I don't good. know why. I'm just not a big Twix You don't Twix like fan. caramel, chocolate, a little wafer? It's great. I don't know. I, I... Now, you did try the Twix in the No, store. I never did. You didn't try the Twix no. ice cream I bar? W- I went a different route. <gasps> Sacre blue. It is so good. You should try it. It scared me a little bit. It scared you a little bit. Okay. (laughs) Well, anyway, speaking of scary things. Yes. I mean, we always talk about RVing. And let's, folks, let's just say today's episode is all about having fun. Yep. But the truth is there can be some things, even though RVing is great, it's not all rainbows and unicorns. Right. And so I thought we'd talk (laughs) about, you know, maybe some things that have scared you Uh or do scare you Uh when we go camping. Well, just thinking off the top of my head, I'm thinking uh, a cracked black tank would be awfully scary. Oh, yes. <laughs> yes. There is nothing scarier than having a cracked black tank, which we have had before. Or a black tank hose explosion. Yeah. Well, I don't know that we've had that. Um, well, we Where did... it comes undone. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So, since you guys don't know so what Patty's talking about. In Vermont. So, let's start with the cracked black <laughs> okay. tank. Okay. Our 2008 Cougar okay, fifth wheel. Okay. Yeah. Uh-huh. I don't think we had had it terribly Too long. long. And one day <laughs> I noticed the underbelly was really sagging. Uh huh. And I pushed up on it and uh, it was full of water. Yeah. And Not so good. Yuckos. I had to find out why. why. And when I cut into it, yeah, yeah it was. We knew why. <laughs> and in the end, it ended up being a tra- uh, cracked bla- black, black tank. tank. It was a hairline crack near. Closer to the top yep. of the tank. So anytime we got above about two-thirds, it would just start seeping oh, out. Oh, grody. And luckily, Ooh, I have to say, Keystone was awesome. They did a great job. They replaced the yep. black tank, replaced the underbelly. Yep, they cleaned it all And got it cleaned up. up. Fresh, and, fresh underbelly. But yeah, oh. <laughs> and then, yes, the... the the black hose. tank, exp- hose. it wasn't really an explosion. The hose detachment, let's so say that. So we were in Vermont, <laughs> and we were at a dump station at a state park, <laughs> and I thought I had it Hooked attached, there really and when, well. I, when I pulled the Lever, valve, the valve open. Yeah, the bottom had not caught, and no. it started coming out, and yeah. luckily I was pretty quick to close it, <laughs> uh, but it still, it was still a process run afoul. <laughs> <laughs> yeah how's that that's good yeah we took a little yeah we had to do a little cleanup didn't we yeah <laughs> luckily it was on some little pebbles and stones right so we could rinse it off well, see, i would have rather been on concrete okay right? i mean because i i was like how do you clean all these little pebbles yeah and stone? well we, you, we cleaned how it how do you sanitize good. them <laughs> and uh 
a lot of fresh yeah, liquid yeah. cleaner. <laughs> that is, those that those are both pretty good scary stories. Those are pretty good. Yeah. Now I when I think of kind of scary, uh -huh. I think of a more recent story. Okay. Um, we were at a Cracker Barrel. <gasps> oh yeah. At spring break. Yes, we were. And um, in Georgia. Yep. Uh, Wasn't it Adair, Georgia? <laughs> is that where it was? On the way to Florida. I was. I, I don't know. Well, it doesn't matter. Anyway, it doesn't matter. We were at a Cracker but Barrel. We had stopped, yep. and um, we had gotten permission, like, as we always yep. do. Yeah, they said, good, we're good. And um, there was probably five there other RVs few. that night. Yeah. But there was one RV that was parked, like, we were in the RV spot. But this there, one was not. Yeah, when we got there, um, it was pulled in, a, a, what do you want to say, like, at the back, taking up several car yep, stops. Yep, yep, along the perimeter. And uh -huh. I know just when we got there that the steps, steps weren't were down. not out. So I just figured they had stopped to have dinner. Right, that's but what we thought. The truck was still there. Yeah, yeah. so didn't really think much <laughs> about it, went to bed, and at some point in the middle of the night, I woke up. I heard it, too. You heard it, too. There, Well, and seen it. There, like, we had police lights flashing in our bedroom. Well, I heard, like, a radio. Like a police scanner. Yep. And so... We I, we're both kind of freaking out. We're thinking, "Oh my God! First time What's ever, going we're gonna get, we're gonna get kicked out of this Cracker Barrel." And we're trying to like, yeah, you not make any noise and trying to peek out the window, and you don't want to be obvious. Well, yeah, because number one, we didn't know what was we going didn't know on. what was going on. We yeah. didn't know if they were kicking people out. We didn't know if maybe mm -hmm. they were chasing a suspect. We, I didn't want to get shot. We didn't know and, what was going um, on. To this day, we really don't know what went on. Um, we waited. We yeah. heard them talking. Um, and then eventually they left. What what I think, and this is completely speculation. But we this is our theory. We'll go ahead. That right next door to the Cracker Barrel was a hotel, a really nice hotel. Hampton Inn. Yeah, we think they stayed at the hotel and they parked their RV over there with their truck. But what we don't know is why the police were there. Yeah, we have no idea. Because this wasn't like this was what probably one two, thirty, two, two o'clock in, in the morning. Maybe. So it's not like Cracker Barrel called and said, mm -hmm. "What's the deal with this?" We we just honestly don't know. What the but deal I will was. say, I was a little. We were a little put back. We were like, yeah, what well, is going on? Because it's like, he's probably just like, be ready to put, get, yeah, get, get I, dressed. Yeah, because I'm like, if they, if they knock on the door and say, <laughs> we have to skedaddle. Get ready to move. You know? And what was so, I think, miraculous about that is anytime we're somewhere oh. and these pups, Truman and Bess, hear any noise, they'll make like a little woof, woof sound. Or Truman, unfortunately, will do a howl. Will you stop looking at right. anybody? And, um... They didn't make a sound. They were awake. They were sitting there with us, and they just were listening like we were. They didn't move a muscle. They nope, didn't make any was, noise. Thank it goodness. Was, it was a miracle because we're like, I was like, oh, gosh, don't, don't. Because we didn't want anyone to think, you know, we were hearing what was going on, and we just wanted to be safe, you know, right. trying to be as quiet as possible because we did not know what was going on. Right. What suspect, sus was going on outside. Yeah, so that one, that one was a little yeah. unnerving. Yeah, that was, that was, um, I could think of another time when we were traveling, I think it was with Alex, our nephew, we were going to Glacier <laughs> and we were on our way and we stopped at, um, a Walmart to camp overnight yeah. and we just, we had our little teardrop trailer then and we were off to where we were supposed to be, but there was like on the other side, weren't there like people like partying in their something. cars or we, something? We, we had, I, I think I had put the. I always would put the stabilizers down because that little trailer rocked so bad. And I think we went in and, yeah, it was like they were revving their engines. They were. You could hear, like, the bass of some music yeah, playing. Yeah, and I know that same deal. I was kind of peeking out the window, and I'm like. And it wasn't completely dark yet. And then we realized we were also in the path, not the path, but in the area where they would get their deliveries. And so the semis were going in and out, in and out, yeah. in and out. And so we're like. This is not, this is something feel just good. didn't feel yeah. right. And so, yeah, a little scary. Mm -hmm. And I remember, I I don't, I think we pretty much just were like back in the car, yep. put up the stabilizers. Let's go. I think we went like 30 minutes down the road to another Walmart. And it was completely different. Completely different. different. <laughs> yeah. And nice and like it usually is and no problems, no weird, no weird feelings. Yeah. I could think another time at a Cracker Barrel. I think we were in, um, Kentucky. Yeah. And we had stopped and there was a gentleman. It was cold out. Oh, this Sitting was in a, lawn a little chair, freaky. Right next to the ho was a hotel. 
And he was out in his lawn chair wrapped up in a blanket or something. Yeah. So this would have been like January, like or either late December or early January. We were on our way home from Florida. Mm-hmm. And yes, he's setting. And, and the weird thing about it was, is there was a hotel across the street. Right. And then, so you had the street, you had the hotel, you had the street. And there was like a grassy there area. There was like a gla- grass median. Mm-hmm. And then there was the Cracker Barrel parking uh-huh. lot. And we're setting up, and I'm watching this guy, and he's just sitting there. Kind and of. I'm trying to figure out, like, like you know how you're trying to process in your mind? What's going on? Yeah. And I'm, I'm trying to rationalize, like, is he a Cracker Barrel employee? But it's cold out. Is he from the hotel? Well, why would he come clear over to the Cracker Barrel parking lot to is sit in the lawn chair? Is he homeless? And what's going on? And I ended up, we ended up leaving. Yep. Because I said to Patty, I do not. Because I've heard stories. It's never happened to us, but I've heard stories of people knocking on your door, like wanting money, wanting money, or and, this or that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And so I, I kept looking out. He was like sitting there. If I remember right, he had like a blanket around. Yeah, he was me. all wrapped up, and it was and, cold. And I just had again. It's always this like feeling. I'm like, Let's go. And so we left, and we went to a campground that night. Yep. We went over to Kentucky Horse yep. Park. Yes, we did. And took a, a scary sight. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> remember it was. It like was I, so unlevel. Yeah. yeah but, but at least there was nobody sitting outside in a lawn chair staring yeah, we at were us. Wondering what was that was a good one. I forgot uh-huh. about that one. Now, the trip with Alex, yes. I thought the story you were going to okay. tell was a different type of scare. Okay. So <laughs> I had found this boondocking oh, site yeah. in North Dakota mm-hmm. where they said, like, it's so pitch dark at night. Like, the stars Wasn't are just amazing. Wasn't it near Theodore Roosevelt National Park? It was. Park? It was. And we were going to go. Hang out and so I there. had uh-huh. I had gotten the <laughs> GPS coordinates yes. um, from Camp Pendium. Yep. <laughs> and so we followed it, and, and, and it was like government land. Yep. We get to the point where it says we're there, but clearly there was no campsite there. Because usually, like, when you're out boondocking or whatever, or you're on BLM land, you're right. looking for, like, where people have had a fire before. Yeah, you can tell. Or where it's matted down grass. And it was like a it was like a split in the road. And we're like, what? So I said, well, I guess we'll go right. <laughs> uh-huh. And we go right, and we're climbing. Yep. And we got, we climbing, went a ways. Climbing, Yeah, and we went a ways, and then there was finally a big turnoff. And yep. I said... I I don't think this is the right way. I think I better turn around. And we had the tab 400. Yep, with our forerunner. Mm-hmm. With our forerunner. Mm-hmm. And my nephew <laughs> says, and he was probably. 18. Yeah. He says, oh, Uncle Pat, I think it's right around the corner. I'll bet just, you anything. Just keep going, Uncle Pat. And I was like, like I didn't even <laughs> question the kid. Um, so I just and hit the gas. Off. And I go around this corner. And then we start climbing the slope. Steeper. Where it's a drop off on both sides. Yes. And we crest it. And there is a gate. There is nowhere to go. <laughs> and at this point, we went, and I don't uh-huh. even know if I can describe this. We One section was complete drop-offs. Yes. And then as we crested, it was, we were like between two sidewalls of, yes. of this hill. Yes. And there's this there's this <laughs> metal fence. And, I, you know, at the time, it, I. Well, and we thought, is that fence. Electric. Electric. If we touch it. And I'm thinking, well, I can't go on somebody else's property. Right, and that's someone's property. Yeah. Um, and so I tried to turn around. There was no way we were getting turned around. No. Like, it just no. wasn't happening. No. And so I had to back a single axle, 18-foot teardrop down, down, back to that point where we turn around. And I remember Alex did a really good job. One, he filmed it. There <laughs> yeah. is video. If you yes. want to go back to our uh-huh. – um, I don't even remember – what that I don't summer know. Was, was that it the going summer? west series no i think it was the summer of someday okay. series um there's a playlist <laughs> and and so he films it like he yeah. was smart enough he's like oh okay you want me to film this and i was like, like okay. okay sure um <laughs> as we and slide. i remember as i was going back uh-huh. which because it was gravel i would hit the brakes and you would hear the trailer pulling the, the forerunner yeah everything's just sliding and so at one point i say to alex i say alex is there enough room that your Aunt Patty and Truman and Beth he, can get out. It was just Truman. Oh, was it just Truman? Just baby Truman. He okay. was a little guy. And he goes, oh, yeah, yeah, there's at least two feet over here. <laughs> and I'm like, stay in the car, Patty. <laughs> <laughs> but my thought was if I uh-huh. lost control, I could jump out myself. I just didn't know how she was going to jump out with the dog. Yeah. So anyway, he... He got me down. I remember we got to that big open area. I yep, got out. We all got out. Because I like needed to breathe again. We all had to tinkle. <laughs> and, and Uncle and, and he goes, Uncle Pat, I can't believe you're not cussing. And I said, 
I, I have cotton mouth. I just need a drink of water. And, and he is, do you remember? He goes, what's, what's cotton, cotton mouth? What's yeah. cotton mouth? I'm like, my throat is so dry because, I mean, I was white knuckling uh-huh. it. And, you know, maybe it wasn't nearly as scary. <laughs> but it felt like, oh, my gosh, we're going to go down this ravine, the trailer, the tr- everything is just going to be gone, yeah. us included. I mean, that, that was, was that was that was a yeah, that was. That was and then people during that video kept commenting <laughs> like, oh, the government just puts those up to keep you the cattle. Open just, it. You just, you it's just, not electrical. Yeah, you could have just went. Uh, and so to this day, I never have found that no, campsite, which no. I wanted to go to so bad. And I would definitely not try it with our fifth wheel. So. <laughs> no way, Jose. But yeah, that was a pretty scary one. Uh huh. I just lost when I was thinking there one. Then you were telling the story and I completely lost it. I mean, it'll come back to me. But uh, well, yeah. I think we, oh weather. Yeah, that was what I was gonna say. Because actually, we were talking about it today. It came up at school with about the new Twister movie, and we were talking about it. And someone's like, "That is just so fake having all those twisters." And I'm like, "No, no, no! I got a story." So we uh, were driving yes. through Iowa, trying to get to Kansas City, Missouri, because yep. you had a meeting at a campus. You were learning about new culinary yeah. school stuff. And we had to get there because the next day had a meeting you, the yeah, next morning. you had to get going. So we we would have been there in a decent time if the oh, weather yeah. wouldn't have erupted on us. But we're trying to get down. At one point, we're thinking. It was from, uh, mm-hmm. uh, was it Iowa City? It's Iowa City. No. 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 Des Moines. Des Moines. Des Moines going down. south. And at one point, we're like, well, you should turn around and go clear to Omaha, Nebraska and go around. Because we were using, we our, were looking anyway. We were using our there. radar scope app, which is really good that Reed Timmer, the. Um, Storm Chaser had told you about, yep. and we learned how to read it, and and we were using that and some and another map and all these different weather things, and the weather just broke loose because it was tornado after tornado after tornado. It felt like we were in the movie Twister, it, and it we was. kept having. They just kept forming and going. I don't remember what that highway is that runs south oh out of Des Moines. Oh my gosh, but it was it terrible. Was, so you, Patty, would be like. Okay, you need to get off to the next exit. They just issued another because she was seeing the, the warning, warning boxes. boxes. And she's like, I you know, like you were actually seeing, like, I can see the bow echo. Yep. And so I, so the very next exit, I'd get off and then we'd sit and wait it out. And then yep. you'd be like, okay, I think we're in the clear. We can go again. I don't know how many times we got on and off and on and off. And it was so, if you remember, we, uh, we finally got to a, a hotel and this I said, was I'm crazy. done. I said, we're just, we'll get up after these storms are over and we'll uh, go and so i it was pouring so heavy and the water was so deep it was in up the parking above lot. your ankles it was it was yeah um my my socks and my shoes were soaking wet and i was yeah. carrying delaney our cocker spaniel at the time and i went into the hotel and you're parking the car and we just it's just pouring down gushing down i walk in and i go over to the person at the desk and I said, is it okay if we sit in your lobby with my dog? I go, well, you actually wanted to get a room, and they told you there wasn't that they any. were sold out, yeah. but that we were allowed to stay as long as we wanted in the lobby. And then when you came in, um, because there wasn't a lot of people there, but all of a sudden I think we were talking about the tornado warning, and people that were staying there, like their ears perked up, yeah. and and but nothing happened there, but we no. set it out. And the, they were nice enough to let and us sit in there. And then we continued on. But, you know, it was so crazy. Once we got to Missouri. It was over. It was beautiful. Yeah. Starry night. Nothing. Yeah. We ended up staying over so in Kansas nuts. side. <laughs> and, yeah, it was a Corps of Engineer Park. And, actually, this was scary for the people we were camping. Because <laughs> I back, I back, this was the hummingbird. I yeah. backed the hummingbird uh-huh. in. And I'm trying to be super quiet because it's like 1.30 in the but morning. you got to remember, we had been on a lot of caffeine drinks. Right. We had been jazzed up. I had been reading this Doppler for hours. We're exhausted. And so go so, ahead. So Patty's like, I get out of the, of the <laughs> forerunner, I think it was. And she's like, man, can you believe this? We got it. We're safe. I'm like, shh. Because there was a tent <laughs> right beside of I'm us. Like, oh, like, oops. Yeah. And I'm like, you gotta be, so, yeah, Sorry. but I mean, we've had a lot of weather scares, oh, but that one, that, that was, was one just because it wasn't like, it, it wasn't was, like where you're sitting in the campground and there's a tornado right. and this was just like nonstop. Well, and they just kept appearing. Yeah. Because we kept listening to even the way the weather channel, because we could pull it up. It was an outbreak. I mean. Yeah. And we could pull up the news, you know, the weather channel news people, and they were doing newscasting you know when jim cantori's in your area you know something's going on right and we're like oh shoot this is exactly what's going on and um so yeah we we lived twister yeah so that was pretty scary (laughs) yeah and i would say just to wrap it up one more story okay um 
and sometimes you let your mind, your mind go can places. Take over, yeah. Yes. And so we were camping in the Grand Tetons. <gasps> yes. At Upper Teton View. Yep. Beautiful and, spot. And I'm outside. Mm -hmm. You didn't tell me about this. No, I did not tell Patty. I think I would have been nerved left. up. Yeah. But <laughs> anyway, there was like three of us in this one area, but all of a sudden, like three, maybe four, like black suburbans pull up. Mm hmm. And they get out, and they're they're all headed up this area, and they're like looking like a for trail. something. Yeah, yeah, like a trail. They're looking for something, and I'm like, "What the?" And, <laughs> and so they left, and like they sped on up high, you know, because that, that yeah, went up higher. Yeah. And so I went out, or maybe I was out. I don't remember, but there was a gentleman in a tent across from us, and I said, "Well, that was weird." And he's like, yeah, they said they had been hiking earlier in the day and they left their cooler and they're trying to find their cooler. And I'm like, what? what? And there was a trail. I will say there was, there was a, trail, a trail, but mm. I don't, don't know. So in my trail. mind, I'm seeing like three or four black identical Suburbans. Yeah. Uh, these guys like combing an area. And then, so all night I'm thinking, was this like some kind of drug deal? Yeah, were they looking for? Like, are they looking for? And so... I did not sleep real good that night because, you know, because, again, the later it got, the more tired it got, the more scenario that they were going to come back and kill us or something, yeah, you yeah. know. And uh, He didn't tell me until I'm like, what? Yeah, and I think the next day we left because oh, we were supposed to. Yeah, yeah. And I think I then told her, I'm like, did, did you see those black Suburbans? And, and uh, I, but like I said, sometimes I think when we're camping, um, we allow our well, especially when you're out. Maybe we like watch that. too much Netflix. Yeah, a lot, a lot of yeah, justified. Yeah. yeah. Um, but when you're out and it's quiet right. like that, yeah. and you're not near anything really. I mean, we were, but we weren't. And it's dark. And you don't know the area that well. It's just kind of yeah. creeps you out. You can your mind but, can play tricks on you. But here's the thing: as <laughs> scary as some of these stories are, <laughs> I wouldn't trade any of oh, our experiences for no. anything. Well, think of the stories we have. Right. We survived Tornado Alley. We yeah. survived this. We survived that. Yeah. Look at her. <laughs> she's, she's in our cords. <laughs> um, uh, and honestly, the most scary thing I think any RVer uh -huh. has to deal with is getting service at an RV deal. Absolutely. So honestly, that's the scariest thing. <laughs> well, I was going to say having good internet, good okay. Wi-Fi. <laughs> good Wi-Fi or the people you camp with yeah, can be scary, too. Yeah, the people you camp with can be scary. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, and what might be really scary is when our good friend Jim, who's also the editor yeah. uh, and uh, producer of this podcast, listens to this and goes, because this was Jim's idea, yeah, uh -huh. and I sure hope this was the route he wanted us to take with <laughs> the, this. Ooh. Yeah. Well, he said he would add all the sound effects. The creepy and, sounds. Yeah. But now that I think about it, maybe he just wanted to talk about scary things like, you know, like when your AC won't work and it's 90 <laughs> degrees. I, I can't remember. But this is what you got, Jim. So I hope you enjoyed it. Or maybe it. he wanted us to talk about Alice at the campground here. Or, that's right. right. Yeah. Well, Alice showed up. If you up. want to find out about Alice, Alice. Uh -huh. you're going to have to come stay next year during our two Halloween weekends yes. at Camp Happy Acres. There's in a Angola, tale Indiana. about Alice. Yeah. And it involves mm -hmm. spiders and spider webs. Webs, yeah. Mm -hmm. And you don't want to hear your name. Yep, you don't want to hear your no, name. You do not want to hear no, your no, name. No, no, no. So anyway, <laughs> well, we hope you all enjoy this yeah. story, uh, these stories of uh, maybe not so scary. Camping, yeah. But. Things that make your heart pump a little faster. A little bit, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. In this season of scariness. Ooh. It's hard to believe, though. I was telling a colleague at work today. Yes. We are, after this week, which by the time this airs, this uh -huh. week will be over, um, we're seven weeks till Christmas break. Holy cow. Not Christmas. Christmas will be like another week. Yeah, but, but till break. I'm done with my semester. Seven yes. weeks. Yes. Isn't that crazy? And we got to squeeze Thanksgiving in. Right. Yeah. It's crazy. It's crazy town. So. Yeah. All right, everyone. <laughs> thank you so much for coming along. And thank you, Jim, for a great idea yep. and always making sure we sound great on these podcasts. Yes, he does. And until next time, everybody, we'll see you. On down the road. Bye. Bye. Travels with Lady. We'll see you on down the road.